Welcome back to the special edition of CBS News Miami Morning Edition. Yes, we are counting down, my friends, to Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. Look at it all lit up right now. So, Goldie, he's back with a special guest who knows a thing or two about the big game. <laughs> well, this guy definitely does. Former Dolphins, CBS Miami Dolphins analyst, Kim Bo Camper with us, the killer bee himself. All right, Bo, you played in two of yep. these Super Bowls. These guys are w starting to wake up in Vegas. What are they thinking right now going on the world's biggest stage? Well, well you know, you've been out there for a week. They, I think they got out there on Sunday or maybe Monday. And so they've been going through practice, but you got family and everyone's looking for tickets. And so it's, <laughs> it's really a chaotic week. And then normally for us, at least so the, the two times we played, they, they, we took us, we went to a different hotel the night before the game. They sequestered us, you know, outside of the, outside of the city a little bit. So we're, we didn't get that. But I tell you, once you, once you move to that hotel, you realize it's real. It's the Super Bowl tomorrow. We're actually in it. And, uh, and I tell you what, at that point, uh, the nerves start getting pretty, uh, the, the butterflies turn into <laughs> to a crows in, in your stomach and, and you get pretty nerved up, I can tell you. I got Jimmy Cephalo scoring that yeah. touchdown down there. David Woodley with a touchdown pass. You love seeing these, the, these old highlights. Let's get to this year's game, the Kansas City Chiefs. They need a win tonight to be called a dynasty. No, I don't think so. Look, you know, I go back to I go back to Buffalo when they went to four straight Super Bowls, and I, and I know they didn't win any, but but that may have been one of the more that may have been one of the more uh, you know the more impressive things I've seen in the National Football League. So how hard it is because we went in '82, mm -hmm. we went again in '84, we were better in '83, and we were better in '85, mm -hmm. and didn't go to them. So it's hard to go multiple times. The Chiefs have done that; they've won a couple. Now they're going to win a back-to-back -back if they win this game, and I think that puts them kind of in the maybe on the outside of a dynasty, but certainly not many steps towards it. All right, let's go to the Niners. Brock Purdy, Bo, yeah. you're going to make a lot of teams and scouting departments look bad if he wins. <laughs> this guy was the last pick yeah, of the yeah. draft. Yeah, well, look, go back to Tom Brady and the streak, streak he was on. What was he, a sixth or seventh mm -hmm. round draft pick? So sometimes you get him back, get him late. But I think Brock Purdy has been a great story for him. He manages the game. He can win with his legs. He helps with their legs. He's done that. But I think, and, and this is a, this football team is absolutely loaded with talent. That being said, Kansas City just seems like a team on a mission. It seems like they're comfortable in their skin, in the playoffs, in the Super Bowl, all those things. And you watch what they did during the playoffs. They walked through those teams. Mm -hmm. Baltimore, the team that was the favorite to win, they just walked right through them. Three games, boom, 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 and they're here. And, came, and you look at San Francisco, you know, they had to struggle with Green Bay. They had to come back against Detroit. So I'm kind of liking the guys with the red with, the, with a little, little arrowhead <laughs> on their helmets. All right, we got a little breaking news. Bo had some of the sushi. Back to you, Chelsea. <laughs> Betty. Go ahead. Come on, Bo. Yeah, the Chief definitely walked through the last three. I mean, it was mm. hard to see that Ravens loss, guys. Thank you.